ஹலோ ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் வெல்கம் பேக் டு ஜே ஜேஸ் ஃபிசிக்ஸ் கிளாஸ் த இக்வேஷன்ஸ் ஆஃப் மோஷன் ஆஃப் கைனமேட்டிக்ஸ் டிஸ்கிரைப் தி மோஸ்ட் ஃபண்டமெண்டல் கான்செப்ட்ஸ் ஆஃப் மோஷன் ஆஃப் அன் ஆப்ஜெக்ட் த த்ரீ இக்வேஷன்ஸ் கேன் பி யூஸ் டு கால்குலேட் பொசிஷன் வெலோசிட்டி ஆர் ஆக்சலரேஷன் ஆஃப் அன் ஆப்ஜெக்ட் அட் வேரியஸ் டைம் இன்டர்வெல்ஸ் டுடே வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு சால்வ் சம் நியூமெரிக்கல்ஸ் பேஸ்ட் ஆன் தீஸ் த்ரீ இக்வேஷன்ஸ் லெட் அஸ் ஸ்டார்ட் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் கொஸ்டின் இஸ் A train starting from rest attains a velocity of 72 km per hour in 5 minutes. Assuming that the acceleration is uniform, find one acceleration, second one, the distance traveled by the train for attaining this velocity. First, we need to know what parameters are given. A train starting from rest, so it's clearly mentioned the initial velocity is zero because it is starting from rest position and it attains a velocity of 72 km per hour so final velocity is given so v is final velocity 72 km per hour in 5 minutes so t is given 5 minutes and we need to calculate acceleration and the distance travel so here the important point is all the quantities must be in si system so kilometer per hour is not an si unit so we need to convert kilometer per hour to meter per second and 5 minutes to seconds so first we convert 72 kilometer per hour 72 once kilometer is 1000 meter so 72 into 1000 meter divided by hour per hour hour is 60 times 60 seconds so if you calculate this what you get 20 meter per second next we need to calculate the time so time is 5 minutes so 5 into 60 gives you what 300 seconds now all the units are in si systems first we need to calculate the acceleration so what is the relation connecting velocity time and acceleration so v is equal to u plus a t and final velocity is given u, u, u is given t is given but we need to calculate acceleration for that we can write it as if you take u to the other side v minus u is equal to a t or a is equal to v minus u divided by t which gives 20 meter per second minus 0 meter per second divided by time is 300 seconds so when you calculate this what you get 20 divided by 300 which gives 1 divided by 15 we need to calculate the distance travel so you can use either second equations of motion or third equations of motion so ut plus half a t square which gives u is 0 0 into 300 plus half times acceleration is 1 by 15 and time is 300 square 300 square divided by 30 so it is gives us divided by 30 this will get cancel so what you get 3000 meter s is equal to 3 kilometer that is the answer next question a car accelerates uniformly from 18 km per hour to 36 km per hour in 5 seconds calculate the acceleration and second one the distance covered by the car in that time so the car accelerates uniformly from 18 m per second to 36 km per hour in 5 seconds initial velocity is given that is 18 km per hour so we are converting into meter per second so 18 into 1000 divided by 3600 seconds which is equal to 180 divided by 36 which gives what 5 meter per second is u and v is equal to 36 into 1000 divided by 3600 seconds so that gives 360 divided by 36 which gives 10 meter per second and time is 5 seconds so first one calculate acceleration 
we already learned in the first numerical a is equal to v minus u divided by t which gives 10 meter per second minus 5 meter per second divided by 5 second which gives 5 meter per second divided by 5 which gives 1 meter per second square is the answer second part distance travel will be what s is equal to ut plus half a t square 5 into 5 plus half times a is 1 times 5 square which gives 25 plus 25 divided by 2 which gives 25 plus 25 divided by 2 is 12.5 s yes, is equal to 25 plus 12.5 gives 30 7.5 meter next question a bus starting from rest moves with a uniform acceleration of 0.1 meter per second square for two minutes find the speed acquired and second one b the distance traveled so what is given here acceleration is given which is equal to 0 0.1 meter per second square t is two minutes so we are converting minutes into seconds here itself which is equal to 120 second because one minute is equal to 60 seconds so t is equal to 120 seconds so we need to calculate the speed acquired so initial velocity is given because it is starting from rest so we need to calculate the final velocity and the distance travel so first part so we have the equation v is equal to u plus a t which gives what u is 0 plus a is 0 0.1 times 120 seconds which gives what 12 meter per second is the velocity second part is the distance traveled here we are using the third equations v square is equal to u square plus 2 a s so v square is what 12 square which is equal to 0 plus 2 times 0.1 times s so s is equal to 12 square divided by s 2 into 0 0.1 144 divided by 0 0.2 which gives what 720 meter so the velocity is 12 meter per second and distance travel is 720 meter next question a trolley while going down an inclined plane has an acceleration of 2 cm per second square what will be its velocity 3 second after the start so what is given here acceleration a is 2 cm per second square so we need to convert this into meter per second square so cm to meter dividing by 100 so 0 0.02 meter per second square and time is given that is 3 seconds it's clearly mentioned while going down an inclined plane so definitely it is starting from rest so initial velocity is 0 meter per second yes so we have to calculate the velocity v is equal to u plus a t that is the equation we are using here so v is equal to 0 plus a is 0 0.02 times t is what 3 seconds so it is 0 0.06 meter per second or if you convert into centimeter per second 6 centimeter per second so the velocity of trolley after 3 seconds will be what 6 centimeter per second next question a racing car has uniform acceleration of 4 meter per second square what distance will it cover in 10 seconds after start uniform acceleration is given so 4 meter per second square and time is given 10 seconds after start but the racing car has an initial velocity is 0 meter per second we need to calculate the distance travel so we have the formula second equations of motion s is equal to ut plus half a t square which gives 0 times 10 plus half times a is 4 times t square is 10 square stood all the values 0 into 10 plus half times 
4 into 10 square. So S is equal to 0 plus half into 4 into 100. So what we get here? 200 meter. So the car will cover 200 meter in 10 seconds after start. Next question. A stone is thrown in a vertically upward direction with a velocity of 5 meter per second. If the acceleration of the stone during its motion is 10 meter per second in the downward direction, what will be the height attained by the stone and how much time will it take to reach there? A stone is in the vertical upward position as you can see here. So it has an initial velocity u is equal to 5 meter per second. And if the acceleration of the stone during its motion is 10 meter per second. So A is 10 meter per second square. The acceleration is 10 meter per second square in opposite to the trajectory of motion. So we take this acceleration as negative. So acceleration will be minus 10 meter per second square. And what is the final velocity here? So when it reaches the highest point, the final velocity will be 0 meter per second. So at the highest point, the final velocity is 0 meter per second. Time taken is not given. So what will be the height attained by the stone? So we need to calculate the height. We have the equation v square is equal to u square plus 2as or v square minus u square which is equal to 2as. So s is equal to v square minus u square divided by 2a which gives v square is 0 square minus u is 5 square divided by 2 times acceleration is minus 10 which gives you minus 25 divided by minus 20. So minus minus will get cancelled. So what you get 1.25 meter. So the height is 1.25 meter. Next, how much time will it take to reach there? So we have the first equations of motion V is equal to U plus A T or T is equal to V minus U divided by A. V is 0 minus 5 divided by A is minus 10. 5 divided by 10 which gives 0 0.5 seconds. The stone reaches a maximum height of 1.25 meter in 0 0.5 seconds. Next question. A ball is generally dropped from a height of 20 meter. If its velocity increases uniformly at the rate of 10 meter per second square, with what velocity will it strike the ground? After what time will it strike the ground? As we know that the ball is dropped from a height of 20 meter and so velocity increases uniformly at the rate of 10 meter per second. So a ball is dropped from this position. So the initial velocity of the ball is 0 meter per second. And the acceleration is 10. With what velocity will it strike the ground? We need to calculate the final velocity. So initial velocity is 0 meter per second. Acceleration is 10 meter per second square. And we need to calculate final velocity and time taken. We have the third equations of motion. V square is equal to U square plus 2AS. Here acceleration is in the direction of motion. So it is positive itself. We have V square is equal to U square is 0 square plus 2 times 10 times. And S is 20 v square is equal to 400 or v is take the square root so it will be 20 meter per second next we need to calculate the time taken we have the first equations of motion v is equal to u plus a t or t is equal to v minus u divided by a t is equal to 20 minus 0 divided by a is 10 Next question, the speed time graph for a car is shown in figure. Find how far does the car travel in the first 4 seconds. Shade the area on the graph that represent the distance travelled by the car during this period. Which part of the graph represent uniform motion of car? 
as we have already learned that the area under velocity time graph gives what the displacement or distance traveled by a body area under the velocity time graph gives the distance travel so half into length into breadth which gives half times four times six which gives 12 meter so the car has traveled 12 meter in first four seconds shade the area on the graph that represent the distance traveled by the car during the period so from four and here is a six so you have to shade this part this is the area so shade nicely second part which part of the graph represent uniform motion of the car so i can say that from six seconds the car is moving with uniform rate so that means six to ten seconds the car is moving with uniform rate thank you students